Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Land calm, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Yo. Yo. Um, I hope this shit working. Yeah, it's working. All right. <laughs> I just got to make sure, man. Yo, it's your boy, Laura Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia, and you watching Laura Perfect the Work. Website, shoelovesrebels.com is right below my face. Both of them, the actual face and the cartoon face. The slideshow next to my face on this side. Right here, these are actual products that are on the website. Um, if you like any of the jewelry, it's 50% off on tefnetarchive.com. 1111, selling her notebooks on her website, which is on my website. Check it out. If you like the shit, support real artists. They, they put their heart and souls into this. So please, show love, show support, just like you show me love and support. Now that we done got that out the way, I hope y'all feeling this teal color shoe because I'm fucking with teal color shoe today. This nigga looks like the one. Yeah, see, uh, I'm looking at it on my cell phone. This nigga looks like the man. Damn, man. <laughs> I'm about to get emotional, man. I miss y'all, man. I got water for this session too, man. It's some bullshit water, but fuck it. Water's water right now. You know, I be blessing my shit, so. I bless it with... uh. Mental happiness. Mmm. Tastes like peace. And piss at the same time. So what's good, y'all? Shit. Everything is so lovely. Hold on, let me switch. Let me switch out screens. So I can go straight to Twitch. Yeah, man. Everything looks lovely, man. Damn. Where y'all been at? What's good? What's going on? Oh, you know, it's Tuesday. Uh, Observations of Lord Shoe X Part 3. Nothing new under the sun with this guy. I pretty much just be floating through the realms. Uh, trying to get rid of everything off my plate. That was the message I got today. You got a lot on your plate. You just need to scrape it into the trash. But... It's kind of hard with the soul fragment stuff. Because, see, I be doing too much magic. Hence the magic wand. This the new one, too. This ain't the old one. This bitch hard. Super hard. Sturdy. But, yeah. Just been doing too much magic, and I guess it's starting to bite me in the ass. So, one can only hope that, uh... <laughs> I can only hope that I can pull all these fragments of myself back together properly because apparently that's what I need to do so observations of Lord Shoe X man where do I start I make a million observations a day but the main one I probably have to say right now as far as observations go is food so I was working on my magazine today and I'm looking through the food list and just like really going back through it updating some of the parts of it and I realized that how most people who eat 
do not eat what there's like not even okay look there's foods that you that you should eat all the time and pretty often so that you can stay like healthy and then there's everything else so so i'm realizing like i'm around people right that are close to me and i realize that they don't eat this shit at all over a span of like most of their life if not their entire life and i'm just like damn how are you not dead like i i tried to do that recently after because i ain't gonna lie y'all i spent like 25 years of my life eating like fucking garbage well i'm lying there too man i really ain't spent 25 years just eating pure trash because i always been conscious I always been a health conscious individual and that's okay you know what i'm saying if you're not health conscious that's okay everybody is on a personal journey that's another thing i learned today even though i already knew that but we'll just say that i have an issue with people not following the life pattern that they're supposed to follow and usually most people just kind of mundanely just float through existence on autopilot but that's only because most of them are autopilots they're not actual people <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with that y'all just do what do what feels right for you but i'm just noticing that a lot of people don't eat at least one healthy thing like okay if you got that one healthy thing that you eat and you eat a bunch of fucking trash, at least eat that healthy thing every day with the trash. Like, at least that. But that's just that's just my little observation on that, because I'm just like, damn, bro. I tried to eat some trash, bro, and I'm just like, heart beating fast, can't barely sleep, heart beating fast as shit, like I got cardiac arrest or something. Like, it was so bad, I had to drink some tea before I went to sleep a couple of days ago with, uh, with some oil of oregano so it would like calm my blood down because my shit was just like but it's cool man i went and bought a stethoscope and i'll be i'll be using that bitch on myself see what my heart sound like sometimes make sure my shit ain't like doing some crazy ass like beat like like a horse galloping it's not supposed to sound like that 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 probably means you're gonna die <laughs> That probably means you're going to kick the fucking bucket. So, if your heart beating like a horse running, galloping through the fucking wilderness, like a Mustang with the family galloping through the the great American plains, you might want to go see your uh, local physician. In other news, I got uh, basically a new keyboard today. I would show it to y'all, but this shit is heavy and it's big as fuck. But... Basically, I can record an entire album on this keyboard, just on the keyboard itself. I don't even need like a, I don't need a computer or anything. Like every, this, it's a all at once, so I can use it as a controller to make music with on different software, or I can just make the music inside of the keyboard. So, I'm just like, damn, am I really gonna do this? Am I really gonna learn and study and master using this keyboard so that? I don't need a computer in case this computer start tripping one day. But then I just got to thinking like, you know what? I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to think too deep into that shit because before you know it, I'll just be on this bitch like banging on the keys out of sadness because I'm trying to like, oh, I need to learn how to do this or whatever. We don't need that. We don't need that shit at all, bro. <laughs> Cause it just end up being like a, like one of those um, go to things that you do when you bored, and I don't I don't like using my music for that. I don't make music because I'm bored. I make music because I'm inspired, which is weird. Because people really make music because they're bored. They make party music, which I get it. You know what I'm saying? I like the party too. Well, no, nah, I like the party. I like the party. Partying is fucking rad. <laughs> I like partying. I just got to chill with the partying because sometimes I can go pretty hard. I can party pretty hard. But, yeah, I'm definitely trying to keep music something that when I want to feel like close to 
God, I guess, would be the word. If I want to feel close to God that particular day, I'm going to fucking make some music. That's that's really the only time I truly feel like God besides when I get on these streams. But I don't I don't uh I don't even know what's going on with my life right now as far as like feeling like God cuz recently, like I was telling y'all yesterday with my ascension symptoms I'm having I'm fucking aligning with my true self 100% like now. My whole life I've been trying to get to this point and I don't really know how to feel about it or what I'll say to my girl is I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know if y'all ever seen Rick the Ricky Bobby movie with uh, Will Ferrell, but I feel like him on that first interview. Like I, I don't having this energy and being in tune with this energy is it's got me feeling kind of out of whack. And I know y'all can tell because. The first streams, the first seven streams I did were like all uh, be like, yeah, today on Lord of Perfected Work, we're going to do this and I'm going to talk about that. But then like it just starts like you like I, that's how I know that this is what I should be doing because it's making me wake up. It's awakening things in my subconscious. The more I do it and the more I tap in, the more I start realizing shit about myself as I'm doing these lives. So, it's just getting to the point now where I'm like, damn, pretty soon I'll be looking back on these streams like, damn, this is what catapulted me into being my true self, you know what I'm saying? So, people watching, appreciate y'all. Keep running up the numbers, keep running up the, the views, share this with your friends. Please let me know ways I can improve this channel. And if I need to post this anywhere else, because your opinions are greatly appreciated and I'm all about um, uh, like people critiquing my stuff. You know, I like, I like to uh, get construct constructive criticism when I do my creative projects because this is my life, y'all. Like, I don't know if y'all know, but this is my life now like I don't I'm not doing the uh, the old world way of doing things anymore and it's every time I say that I get scared because I'm all about that shit but this is keeping me in a state of peace like I am in my state of peace because of these streams and my projects that I'm doing on the side of, that go along with these streams so I appreciate y'all for real. Much love to everybody who watches these and share these streams. Tell your family members, you know, seeing somebody who's just a normal guy on the internet doing his thing, just being fearless and expressing himself and um, just letting people into the world that I'm, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? I know it's just a white background behind me. I get it, you know, it's not much to look at, but I'm pretty sure my face is beautiful enough to make up for the white walls behind me. And pretty soon, it won't be a white wall. It'll be, no, nah, it'll probably still be a white wall. <laughs> probably still be a white wall. But I kind of like white. White is, that's it represents peace, you know what I'm saying? White is peace to me. So having this white wall and having till skin, you know, I'm 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 in my bag right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm connecting with those energies, and white is the full spectrum of colors. So I kind of like I like having this white background. It makes the observation, it makes the observing easier. So if you uh, if you're into colors and healing yourself, you should definitely check out the color white. 
and keep keep some white like white light white doves pictures of white animals unicorns and I don't even know any other white animals what other animals are white bro <laughs> all I can think of is doves and unicorns <laughs> I almost said some crazy shit <laughs> hey man we're just gonna move on from that so <laughs> observations of Lord Shoe X I'm Lord Shoe X I'm a polymath based in Georgia you watching it another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. My website is below my faces. These are products next to my face. I can never get it. Is it this side or this side? No, it's this side. Nope. Nope, it's not this side. <laughs> it's, it's this side. <laughs> Anyways, the slideshow next to my face. Check it out. These are actual products that are in my store. So, if you are feeling these products and you feel like you need things for your ascension process, these symbols and these notebooks will help you in that process. I use these notebooks. I use this jewelry myself. One thing that I notice is when you use these notebooks, okay, so beluga whales are also white. I didn't even think of that because they are white. Beluga whales, unicorns, and doves. <laughs> and sheeps. <laughs> well, they like dirty white. Because <laughs> they be playing in the grass on it. Sheep are also white. Observations of Lord Shoe X, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to get off this topic, though, because... I just feel myself leaning towards saying some wild shit. So, yesterday I was on shrooms. Pretty good. Like, but by the time 9 o'clock hit, I was shroomed out, my nigga. Like, shroom life. So, being in shroom world, still. Because, y'all, if y'all can't tell, I'm being, like, goofy as hell right now. It's because of these shrooms. It got me feeling real, like love essence and these there's a a list a very small list of healing properties well not healing properties but healing devices that come from nature that literally cause enlightenment and psilocybin is one of them and yeah <laughs> psilocybin works but you gotta be careful cause if you don't go into this with positive thoughts you pretty much like asked out I hate to say it but I went into it yesterday and like yesterday the main thing that I was on yesterday was vaginas like the big pussy and the little pussy and the shrooms just had me like super deep <laughs> super deep in the pussy bro like the more and then I, I had got this new candle yesterday it's bergamot and sugar cane this candle is amazing like it put me in a whole different mode I just sometimes don't even know like how these things come into my possession but that's definitely how I feel like life is some shit like that like the things that you least expect are the things that like be the greatest shit like that candle I was just like on some other shit you know chatting and then I end up with this candle and life is funny like that man like that's why it's so easy for me right now because I'm starting to realize like damn if I just keep my thoughts kind of in that place not even kind of I have to keep my thoughts in that place because my next move is where my attention is is definitely something that I want to manifest and I feel like once I manifest it 
pretty much be at ease for however long I need to be at ease. Like, I'm gonna just be living my dream even more, like involved more directly and actively with it. So just feeling that energy all the time now instead of like, I never used to feel like that. I used to always feel like I, I was chasing the shit, but now I feel like I'm already in it. So yeah, shit's getting, shit's getting real and the realer it gets, the, the triller it gets. It's just getting more tangible and it feels really good. Like I feel really, 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 really good. I feel really good. Probably the best I felt in a long time. And only because it's just making me appreciate the positive shit that I, I have around me at all times. I don't have to, I don't have to really, I don't have to really keep like searching. I don't know. I feel like I was searching for something that I already had in me. And now I feel like all the things that I felt like I lost, I feel like I never lost them. It's just, I made a conscious choice to disconnect from certain things that wasn't serving. And it's easy. It's, it's calming and it's peaceful energy that keeping me from feeling really stressed out because I don't want to feel stressed out no more. You know, I don't really get headaches like that, but real shit, man. After a while of just like being under pressure and shit all the time, that shit gets really like, it make you not want to do nothing, make you not want to be involved. It makes you want to just say fuck everybody type shit. Like, and y'all seen that. Y'all seen me on live doing that. Like. That's that that energy and when it comes around, bro, that's when I know like, okay, it's breakthrough time. It's something that I'm missing here that I need to like chill, sit down, and really like focus on. Like today. Got two messages about Okay, so eleven eleven was like, Hey, let's have fun. Pick a number. And of course if anybody know me, I'm gonna go for any number that got six in it. And I don't like single sixes or other digits with six. So I'm just going to put six next to another six. But she only said between 19 and 125. Now, if she said 19 and 1,000, you already know what time it is. But I kept it funky and I just did 66. And uh, I don't know, man. The number eight been real, real prominent these days in my life. And it's funny because... My mindset. It's only because of my motherfucking mindset. Like, bro, I'm physically not, like, doing a traditional job. Like, what y'all see me doing, this is my job. These streams are my job. Like, writing books, that's my job. Making these albums, that's my job. Like, I'm not... I'm not feeding into this shit no more. And, like, I'm, I'm surrendering to that shit. Like, I don't think y'all understand, like, <laughs> how fucking scary that is. When you used to, like, yo, like, I'm a, I'm a fucking Aries, man. So, it's not hard to, it's not hard to just go and get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm doing these streams. Like, I haven't stopped doing these streams. Like, I consistently get on this shit. Only time I don't is on Saturday and Sunday. And on Saturday and Sunday, I'm recording an album. So it's not like I'm just taking breaks. You know what I'm saying? Sunday, I try not to do too much work. I try to talk to my girl on Sunday, but she be doing shit. I don't really know what the fuck she be doing. But Sundays, I'm fucking, I'm trying to fucking get to it. Like rest, uh, self-care, um... Like fasting, cleansing, shit like that. Like that's I dedicate that day to that is basically like reinventing myself every Sunday. So that when I come back to do these streams, everything cool, everything copacetic, I feel like myself, 
I'm not like uh, burnt out. So just these new like revelations I've been having been really making life seem like really divine and I already live a pretty divine life but it's like to the point now where I'm feeling like shit I am I am I am like the the man the mantra that represents my sign is I am so I really feel like I'm connecting with that energy like wholeheartedly and it used to be like I was looking for something outside of myself, like trying to connect with it. But it's like, nah, bro, I need to understand myself more. Damn, I kind of want to read a little script from my book, but it's all the way over there. And y'all know how I am. I'm not leaving from in front of this camera unless it's a motherfucking explosion or something outside. And it's coming this way and I need to get the fuck on. I'm not leaving in front of this camera. So we're just going to. We gonna keep it funky, but yeah, man, shit been fucking awesome. I really feel myself connecting, really connecting with myself and becoming who I wanna be, who I feel like I am, instead of trying to be what other people want me to be or what other people expect me to be or I ain't even reflecting people no more. Like I didn't. I don't really got to the point where like I'm freeing myself, y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed, but before I had this Instagram under a hundred followers, I had thirteen hundred people on my shit, bro. Like it's just it's so relieving that I don't have to I don't have to worry about trying to keep up. Because I'm not keeping up with shit by myself. Only thing I'm keeping up with now is myself. And how can I send in my thoughts and in my, in my actions. Definitely actions. I want to portray the right things within myself. So that I'm not just doing things to um, appease to somebody. Like, fuck that. But yeah, I can't wait for y'all to hear this new music, bro. Like, other people's opinions about music that I make really don't matter to me unless it's people who are looking for my music. And so many people are like, bro, when the next shit coming out? And I'm like, bro, if you only knew the music I'm sitting on and the fact that I ain't even really recording right now, like, I just... I started recording shit, but I'm like, nah, let me finish what I'm doing first. And then I'm going to go back into recording these new projects. But that that awareness, man, these observations be fucking, they be trying to, they be trying to make me put shit into perspective because I be really fucking zoning out sometimes when it comes to uh, working on certain projects. I just be like on the shit and I'm like, I can't get inspired. I got to move on to the next thing. But you really know you really doing something when you pushing past that. I need to be inspired feeling like nigga, you alive. You could be, you could be like physically dead. You know what I'm saying? Like I am dead right now, but I'm spiritually dead. Like I'm, I'm in the transitional process of rising from the ashes, but that's another stream for another day. I could be physically dead and I'm not, I'm here. I'm here to experience the people that care about me and the people I care about. So the fact that I got that, it just makes being grateful and getting on these, these streams like easy as fuck. It just make it so much more easy. Like I don't even got to think about this shit, but I'm going to tell you this much. I'm probably going to sleep after this stream, man. Like I'm probably going to fuck with some little studies and shit and then i'm probably gonna crash because tomorrow i kind of want to wake up and finish off this magazine like i want to be done with this bitch now i've been working on this magazine technically this book that that is inside of this magazine i've been working on it since 2015 and i wrote four different versions of it like I'm over this shit, man. It's going on seven years now that I've been writing this goddamn book. So, 
it's time. It's time to let this bitch go. And then the crazy part is I can't let it go. Once I finish it, I'm just going to have to sit on it. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to sell it. Just keep it real with y'all. If I do sell it, it'll be a part of something else. So, if you want a copy of this book when it's finished, holla at your boy. If I fuck with you for real, I'm going to let you get a copy. You're going to have to pay for it, but if I fuck with you for real, I'll let you get a copy of it before the entire thing comes out. But more than likely, I'm probably not going to put it out individually by itself. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm sorry, but that's just how I got to be right now. So I know for sure, like, if I want to put this out, because I might just finish writing my second book, which I've gotten further in that book in the least amount of time. I started writing that book the end of last year, like the very end of last year. And then I've been working on it. So it hasn't even been a full year yet, but just know. All the observations, the real ones that I, I'm, I don't talk about on here, are in that book. Both of them. All my observations. And I even put the resources. Like, the resources are so fire, y'all. Like, if you are a resourceful person, these resources are the shit. These are going to be the shits that's going to put you in the game, son. Like... I don't even think I shared these resources with 1111. She resourceful though on her own. Like she be sending me shit that I don't know about. So just imagine if I took all the resources. I took some of her resources too and put them in the book. But just imagine if I took all the resources she gave me, all the resources that I have and put them in this book. You can't tell me there's no way. There's no way that you can get it out the mud i didn't found several backdoor ways to get money and not having like a traditional job and practicing with this shit but that's where it starts like honestly i just like doing shit for free because it comes back it comes back to me and i'm not really worried about money money is just something that just keeps people in a state of lack you know what i'm saying when you worry about money all the time it keeps you in a state of lack and i noticed that like that's why i spent so many years working so hard i got my first job when i was 14 y'all i'm 31 it's time to motherfucking retire nigga like <laughs> fuck that came back to america immediately start working like 14 had the in-between time in North Carolina. Then I moved to Georgia. Instantly got a job. I worked that same job for 10 years, bro. So you can't tell me, oh, he don't he don't make careers. Because people that be knowing me as of recent know how much I be going into jobs, getting working capital, and leaving them hoes. Like, I have no desire to be in the workforce as far as doing shit for other people. I don't have no problem working. Like, that's not the issue I'm having here. The issue I have is my freedom and my time not being paid for what it's worth. If if I'm doing work that you know no one else can do, and I'm worth pretty much your entire team by myself, I should be getting all the motherfucking money, right? That's why I don't, I don't give a fuck about that bullshit where they be like, oh, man, uh, you taking money, you taking food out of other people's mouths. We live in the realm of abundance. There's enough money for everybody. And on top of that, there's enough money for all of us to get paid exactly how we should be getting paid. That's why another observation, all these niggas on fucking unemployment and fucking not working and just saying, fuck it. I'm about to take this unemployment money and motherfucking flip this shit. Like, people taking out PPP loans ain't even got no goddamn business. Like, they taking... They doing what any smart person would do in times like this when you pretty much are being like sheeped or shepherded by fucking, I'm going to just say criminal enterprises because they ain't no motherfucking, they don't govern my, they don't govern me. So we'll just say criminal enterprises that are elected by the citizens of this realm. <laughs> And the crazy part is, 
I also observed that people know that they're criminal enterprises and they just mundanely don't give a fuck because that little shit that like the being in this fake class classes system got them like oh well you know I don't live in the hood so it doesn't really affect like shit like that and I ain't gonna lie primordials be fucking guilty of this shit just like anybody else so y'all gotta stop that shit man I ain't gonna tell you what to do though you know it's your life baby but I'm gonna keep it a hind down with you that shit is lame <laughs> Y'all don't even... Y'all the reason the shit going AWOL, man. The motherfuckers who be on shit like that. The reason shit going AWOL right now. And for those who don't know what AWOL means. Away without leave. They just left. And they know they're not supposed to be leaving. But they gone. <laughs> they gone like a motherfucker. But yeah, man. Like, come on, bro. We out here. We all... We all the part of this shit. I don't see what make you feel like you so goddamn special anyway. Hey, whatever, whatever makes you feel cool, I guess. I just know that I'm doing my part in by doing these streams because I just, I hate seeing people not receive the message. You know what I'm saying? I hate people that don't receive the message sometimes. Actually, I don't hate people. I just hate what they do. They do a lot of stupid shit sometimes. And... My message for today was to not carry that burden. I'm going to listen. <laughs> I'm just, that's all I can say about it. I'm going to listen because no matter what, like I, always, I had to tell my cousin today, man, because this man hit me up this morning spazzing because we were supposed to get, like, I did a stream yesterday and I was supposed to get back on and do another stream. But this man ended up going straight to bed because there weren't enough people working because everybody's doing what I just said. They collect the unemployment and flipping that shit. And I'm just like, man. <laughs> my dude, you got to realize, like, I told him, I told him exactly what the sage said. Only a bowl of rice. That's what I told him. I said, a sage once said only a bowl of rice. My nigga, you can't be hung up on, like, you chose this. You only working because you filled out the application and you looked for a job and you went in that motherfucker and you stayed there. And you're continuing to stay there. But these are red flags, dude. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. If you in some shit and the shit is not fulfilling, you feeling like trash, you upset, you mad, you're high and you're mad. It's time to go. It's time to slide, my nigga. Like, fuck money, bro. Fuck other people's opinions because they not you. And they don't have to do. Everybody going to tell you, you got to do what you got to do. Why? Who said that? I can get it. I get it if you got, like, a child or something and the child got to eat. But I'm pretty sure the same context applies to having a kid. Only a bowl of rice. It costs... What, $10 to get a huge-ass bag of rice? Huge-ass fucking bag of rice? Find something you can do that makes you $10 right off the rip. And then you start to realize, if if I can do this eight times in a row in one day, I pretty much can get, like, a quarter of my lame-ass paycheck that I get from these bullshit-ass employers. So you just got to put shit into perspective. It's a million ways to do the same thing. It just takes your... That genius to click in. What can I do that's different? That's matter of fact, I just gave you an excerpt out the book. I ain't gonna say too much else, but I'll say this. In my book, literally the last chapter of this book, I literally said these exact words. Sit with yourself. What can you figure out about yourself that you didn't know yesterday? Do that shit as many times as you can. Before you know it, you're gonna know everything about yourself. Write this shit down into a notebook so that you can read it over and over again. Like, damn, I really do that? And I'm talking about not just the good shit, but the bad shit, the freaky shit, the weird shit, the shit you wouldn't tell nobody. Like, all that shit. Just put it in a notebook. And if you look next to my face in this slideshow, 
these are pictures of notebooks that we have on my website and also 1111 website the website is down below like just go check it out and these notebooks have like everything you need it's, it's a process these notebooks are gonna help you in the process of figuring out all of that and writing down your thoughts feelings actions the things that led up to it the whole however you want to do it because see that's the thing like you can literally come up with your own method to heal yourself mine i even named it i ended up making it my own religion that i follow my code my laws every day the laws of the trickster named lord x that's not the name i'm just pushing but i follow my shit and now granted i based it off of principles that are in my family but Everybody got their own shit that they listen within themselves. They own intuitive nudge that they listen to that guides them. But I always wanted, I always try to go towards peace and positivity. I be spazzing sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, but that's only because my peace, man. When I start feeling my peace being threatened, bro, and like my lifestyle that I, I live, when I feel that shit being threatened, bro, I start attacking because that's my baby. And I'm the mother taking care of this baby. I don't watch this shit grow from just us being out in the streets and having a code to a real spiritual method. Like, this shit went from having a code in the streets to a spiritual method, bro. And I watched it evolve and transform from my mind, from my cousin's mind, to this shit that it is now. So this shit is, like, dear to my fucking heart. And it's something that has gotten me through, like, this most fucked up shit. Even before I knew I was following this shit, it ain't, it ain't got me through shit. So, your truth, man, that is definitely an important thing. Like, even if it's not the truth, your truth is just as important because that's your perspective of God's energy living through you. And you're expressing that. And that's what we want. That's what God wants. That's what I want. So, do that shit. Because now you're doing things that the world needs. The world needs to see you express that energy. Even if it annoys them sometimes. The world needs you to express that energy. That shit is important. That shit is important for the growth of this world. But yeah. Just little observations. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy this week. It's been on and off like with this rain. I got told today that we had a hurricane and I'm like... You can tell I don't watch the motherfucking news. I don't care to. There's nothing on there for me. Only news, not my news. <laughs> I'm like, oh, buddy, when uh, when gangs died on... um, What the fuck is the name of that shit? Head of State with Chris Rock, where he became the president, the first black president. There, these niggas was watching TV, and they was talking about the, the dude that uh, he was running against had died in a plane crash. And that nigga was like, Gaines is dead? He was like, sir. Or his little advisor nigga was like, sir, it's all over the news. And that nigga was like, not my news. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I'm feeling like buddy right now. I don't give a fuck. That nigga died on the plane. Damn, Gaines, sorry. Hate, hate it happened to you, player, but that ain't my, that's not my news. It's not, it's not my concern for me to be carrying everybody's problems, taking care of everybody, paying for everybody. Making sure everybody getting this, getting that. Like, I gave you the knowledge. I been gave you this knowledge. It's your time to turn it into wisdom. Why I have to do it for you? Just lets me know how much you really care about yourself. That I have to go out of my way to care about you and care for you. You got to start. You got to pick this. Time is of the essence, I, I guess, as far as people who follow it. And if you follow in time, then you should probably, uh, should probably get on it. You should probably take care of yourself And for the people who live like I do In a timeless, spaceless Nothingness Basically a DMT trip forever We just doing whatever the fuck Even if it equates to nothing I don't really give a shit I'm in this realm where I don't give a fuck So I don't know about y'all But hey, it feels good It's, it's the best feeling I've ever had Compared to all the ways I have been feeling in my fucking life the past 30 years, 31 years. So, 
I'm telling you, man, when you when you have no expectation, no desire, and you're not chasing nothing, and you just simply coming from your heart space, creating things that make you genuinely happy. Like writing this book has made me happy because it took all the pain and the fucking sorrow and the sadness and the fucking bullshit I had to endure for three years straight. I put it in this book, and it freed me reading it. It freed my mind reading this book. All the books I read to create this book. All the books I read to keep myself from destroying myself while creating this book. All this is in that book. And it's not even that long. I, sh I compressed it so much that... I compressed it so much that people should be able to scale this book in one day. Like, straight up. Scale it in one whole day. It shouldn't even be nothing more than that. You should be able to read that shit really in like an hour. Like taking notes and all that I will leave space to do that but you should really just go to shoelovesrebels.com and go to 1111's website and go buy a notebook and fill it up with all the notes from the keys to the island that I mean shoelovesrebels.com come on and these you, you can't tell me these covers ain't beautiful because the, the color schemes are fire they're so occult that it just, it makes me like giddy, like a little kid. I do fairy laughs sometimes when I look at the notebooks and I have the the second wave that she put out. I don't got none of the new ones yet, but trust me, they coming. But yeah, man, definitely write all these things into these notebooks and go back over it and read this shit a hundred times because I'm telling you, you start to realize like, you realize so much shit about yourself. I, I have been keeping journals since I started talking to 1111. And, bro, I done seen myself change, my thought process change, my life change. Like, crazy. Shit has been a fucking experience. It's been probably the best journey I've been on. Even though it's had some shitty-ass moments, man. Shitty, shitty, shitty-ass moments. I'm still grateful because now I'm here doing these streams and it kind of feels like I'm outside of my body, but that's just the shrooms. <laughs> feels like I'm outside of my body watching me do these streams, which I kind of am, but I'm not going to let the shrooms talk right now. <laughs> these shrooms is whooping. They've been whooping my ass since I took them. Like I've been trapped in this shit for life now. And it's just like, Every day I'm gonna have moments where I like I dip into it because I've I've been high ever since I smoked the blunt. Even when I don't smoke, I'm still high. But smoking weed at that point makes me feel like different than the high that I have when I'm not smoking. Cause it's like those receptors. I don't know why, but they cycle. Like it it never like gets rid of the THC on my body. But somehow I managed to pass a drug test. So I don't know if it's like a a mental thing, like it affects like the inner spiritual energy within my mental state. And it doesn't affect the blood or the urine or any of the fluids, just only my um my nervous system. And it just stays there. Same thing with the shrooms, like it affects my nervous system, but it's not in my blood because I was taking shrooms through that whole time. I wasn't smoking weed, just only taking shrooms. So yeah shit is trippy i'm always in between worlds y'all and i just tap in like i'm tapped into the physical realm right now with y'all but only because i love y'all man i wouldn't do this shit on on my own i did it for y'all because i just gotta get this off man i gotta get this information out of my brain like this is the newest way i'm doing it i used to write the journals had pretty heavy but i probably got i'm about to fill up the second journal and I'm about to be into my third journal that I've been writing physically. And I'm going to turn those into a book also. That I, oh my God. I can't wait till y'all read them shits, man. But I'm just compiling. I'm probably going to do four full books of, of the past like few years. And then combine the journals together. So as I'm doing those, on top of all the books I'm writing. Like I write pretty much all the time. Some form or fashion. I had these journals I was writing also on my computer. Probably had like 50 to 100 of them that I had started last year when I first got this laptop. 
up until December, probably even beginning of this year. But I was going through them and I just deleted them all. So I don't even have them shits no more. Like, I just have the physical shit I wrote down, Lilith Papers, and Keys to the Island. And I wish I could get the original Bible back, but that shit is gone. That shit is gone, long gone. And I wish I could get it back because th the stuff that I wrote in that was like similar to those journals. It was a day in the life, right, of Lord Shoe X, right? But I would also write the context of what I'm doing, how I did it, and also like a journal of my thoughts and feelings of that day on top of having the context of, okay, I'm going to this studio to do this. I did this to create this. Like, shit just was so ill, bro. That was like really the original. But I, I did the same thing with this Keys to the Island book. I call it the hybrid manual. But I, I did the same thing with this book. So I'm pretty happy that this shit turned out how it is. Now, as I'm like just looking out my window, I'm just looking at this tree and it's reminding me of a baby, like a placenta. And I'm just thinking like how every day I'm literally watching the world rebirth itself, being reborn from itself. Like, think about the dirt that we live on. It's just cultivated over and over by all the civilizations and plant essences that have passed on to create this new. It's like we're constantly in a state of watching rebirth, constantly in a state of seeing that. And that green just just puts me in that state of never ending infinite abundance because it's just like I'll never I'll never die. As long as my body's on this planet, that body is living through the essence of all these plants. When I eat these plants, I'm eating the essence of everything that ever was. When I drink this water, I'm drinking the essence and the memories of everything that ever was. You know? Like that money, the idea, the air that is produced by these trees, the light, the breath, the vibration, like all these things, the essence of the reality, no matter what, I'm always going to be aligned to the energies of that. And I never have to worry about shit. And it's that type of peace I can only get when I'm not doing something for somebody else, because who... Who's got time to observe anything like this when you constantly got to listen to a motherfucker every day telling you, you're not doing this right. Okay, this was good, but you should do this. Like, look, if God's supposed to be perfect and I'm God, why? I feel like I'm doing what I need to be doing now. Just existing. Like the plants and the motherfucking trees and the, and the birds and the bees and the water. This shit exists. And it flows. And it always is constantly flowing. Something dies to create. Something is created so that it can die to create more. Like, in order for certain things to even have space to grow, something has to move out the way or break down into the soil so that a new thing can grow in that spot. Like, same shit applies to you, man. And I said the funniest shit yesterday to my girl, too, like, I feel like a snake, when it sheds its skin, it doesn't look back at that skin like, oh man, I remember all the things I used to do in that in that shell, like, pretty sure the snake just slithers forward into the beyond, like, there's no reason, like, to be worried about things ending and not coming back because we're always here, and no matter what, even if you feel like you're not here, you're always going to be a part of this planet in some form or fashion. You're always going to be a part of this energy, some form or fashion. So never give up on whatever you're doing. Never give up and drink plenty of water and just always stay in tune with yourself. I can't tell you what to do, but this is just my advice. Just never give up on yourself because... I just think about trees falling in the woods. Like, we don't hear that, but it's happening. 
some people bust their ass and nobody sees it, but they laugh to themselves like, ha, I'm glad nobody saw that. Now, if you're just looking for attention, you'll get on Facebook and you'll tell somebody, man, I just busted my ass and nobody seen me. Well, now everyone knows. So just always remember, no matter what, never give up on yourself because you're always going to exist in some form or fashion. You might as well take the gifts that you're given and just share them. This is what I'm doing. I know that I can do this. I know I can just come off the top with some spiritual wisdom and that knowledge. And I'm not saying that to be bragging. I'm saying that because that's my gift. And I want to share that with y'all because I feel like somebody watching this might stumble across it and it can help them. Y'all, you can do your own shit, man. It might not make sense to the world now, but you'll be the first trailblazer to do this shit. You'll be the first pioneer to do this shit, man. Never be afraid. Let me turn this light on. Never be afraid, y'all. This shit can only be as bad as you make it. It can only be as bad as you make it. For real, for real. Like, life is easy. <laughs> life is super easy. Because you're only supposed to survive off of that bowl of rice. I told homie, what's more important? Your peace of mind or that bowl of rice? Because technically, you can just breathe and survive. Well, I'm going to leave it on that note, man. Again... I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based in Georgia. And you're watching Lord Perfect the Work. Appreciate you for stopping by. Of course, I always gonna love on you because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to be the mean guy anymore. I'm not supposed to be Hablus on X anymore. Only when necessary. Only when necessary will I tap into the energy of have blood. Some people tell me to do it when I write songs or when I make food. They say, can you make a half-blood burger? I need them half-blood bars. I can't wait to put this book out. <laughs> I really can't. Because that's literally like the last chapter. Tapping into that energy. Well, let me stop ranting though, man. It's not really a rant. Just more or less me... Letting y'all into the world of the observations of Laura Shoe X. If you haven't visited my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should definitely check it out. All these images on this slideshow next to my face are for sale. And all the jewelry is on sale, 50% off. So you should definitely check it out. Um, y'all can follow me on social media. Damn, it looked like a hurricane about to hit this bitch for real. It's a tropical storm, though, but it was a hurricane. <laughs> you can hit me up on social media, though, at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. And that's the letter, the two L's, the letter L, not L like God or L Kaloon, <laughs> but two L's and a, the letter C. And that's on Instagram and Facebook. You can catch me on that biatch anytime. Now, if I answer back, that I can say for sure because I haven't really been on my Instagram the past few days. And when I do, I don't really look at it right now because I'm so focused right now on my on finishing my projects that I just literally go on uh, every person's post and just click and just double tap on all of them just to show love. But I haven't really been. I haven't been really looking at y'all posts. The only post I look at is old girls because I be stalking her shit. I have to stalk her shit. I gotta make sure there ain't no fucking weird niggas on there. Cause then I gotta hit them in the face with a pole. Cause they some homos. Cause they ain't Lord Shoe X. I'm just saying. They ain't Lord Shoe X. They ain't finna get on here and speak the real. Anyways. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Lord Shoe X out this bitch. <laughs> All right, y'all. Much love. Much love from the source.